Machine Learning Combining Multiomics Data and Network Algorithms Identifies Adrenocortical Carcinoma Prognostic Biomarkers. Rare non cream cancers such as ACC present a serious prognosis challenge. Knowledge about ACC pathogenesis is incomplete, and patients have limited options. Identification of molecular drivers and effective biomarkers is required for timely diagnosis of the disease and stratified patients to offer the most beneficial treatments. In this study, we demonstrate how machine learning methods integrating multiomics data in combination with systems biology tools can contribute to the identification of new prognostic biomarkers for ACC. We obtained uh, ACC multiomics data from the TCGA database. This data was downloaded using the Shena browser. Three types of omics data were selected, gene expression data, macroRNA expression data, and methylation data. The Diablo method was used to identify a highly correlated multiomic signature using projection to latent structures and discriminant analysis with non-class membership. An initial preprocessing step was applied to all the datasets in order to filter low-variance features. We started generating models with five components to estimate the classification error rate between stages with respect to the number of selected variables. This strategy allowed it to tune the number of components and variables from each dataset to be retained in the final model. The optimal final model defined with five components included 46 features from both RNA-seq and macroRNA-seq data and 65 features from DNA methylation data. Final and integrative supervised analysis using the defined features was performed. The identified features explained a maximum of 30% of the total variance among the five components, being the DNA methylation dataset the one that explained most of the variance. Samples projected onto the three components reporting a higher explained variance allows us to successfully account for such separation during the final stages. Features included in the model exhibited a high level of correlation. Higher positive correlation levels were observed between RNA and macroRNA features, the red lines here. DNA methylation features showed higher level of negative correlation with both RNA-seq and macroRNA features, the blue lines in the figure. The cluster structure resulting from the multiomics features found in the first component of the model was inspected using this heat map. Samples from the same disease stage tend to cluster together. MacroRNA and methylation blocks show opposite abundance depending on the disease stage. Clarivate Systems Biology Tools was used to identify topological regulators of the multiomics biomarkers. A meta-based Clarivate's manually created and quality control data repository was used as, source, as a source network of molecular interactions. The CBDD analysis suite from Clarivate was used to uh, leverage network algorithms. We used two network algorithms to identify topological regulators of the multiomics biomarkers. The hidden nodes algorithm, which is a local method that prioritizes genes based on shorted path between single nodes, and the network propagation algorithm, which is a global method that incorporates the complete network topology. Using this Strategy, strategy, a total of 53 topological significant genes were identified using network algorithms or metabase interaction network. The integrative network here shows that the enrichment terms in multiomic features and regulators are related to pathways in cancer. P53 signaling, S1P2 receptor activation signaling. We trained four different random forest classifiers in order to perform the to, to, to evaluate the discriminative power of our, our signatures. A multiomics model that included the string level feature identified in the multiomics data integration, a regulators model which included the regulators identified in the, the topological analysis, and the multiomics plus regulators model which was a combination of the two previous ones, and a biomarkers model, which included 14 non disease biomarkers available in the literature. Statistics about the training and the cross validation process of the different models can be found in this table. In the cross validation, the MORAC model, combining multiomics features and regulators, clearly outperforms the rest of the models with a higher ROC value. These results demonstrate the usefulness of combining clarivate systems biology tools with molecular signatures to derive it from multiomic experiments in order to identify biologically meaningful biomarkers. 
Cortellis Drug Discovery Database was used in order to evaluate the, the biomarkers knowledge. Uh, we identified from our multiomics signature features that a, a large amount of the features were already known biomarkers of different cancers. And specifically, 12 of the identified features are already known biomarkers specific to the ACC disease. We used an external dataset in order to validate our results using a survival analysis. We obtained a dataset with accounts for multiomics data, including microRNA data, mRNA data, and DNA methylation data. Using code progression analysis, we identified multiomics biomarkers that were associated with overall survival in the analysis code uh, obtained from this external data set, as we can see here. As a conclusion, uh, using state-of-the-art uh, of machine learning algorithms together with Clarivate Systems Biology tools, we were able to create the most complete ACC signature to date with 210 biomarkers. A large amount of the identified biomarkers using multiomics integrative analysis are non-biomarkers under study based on the CDDI database. Multiomics biomarkers demonstrated to be associated with overall survival using an external data set. Example genes can be found here as well as example macroRNAs that show a statistical significant association. This study identified new potential SEC prognostic biomarkers for further study.